Okay, we all live. Uh, welcome, Narak. Welcome uh, back again, Satya. Thank you so much for, you know, make yourself available with your busy schedule to come and meet all of us. And we are excited to meet you once again, one at a time. And the next one is Narak. Here we go. And Narak, welcome. And Satya, welcome. And, um, Thank you for having me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I did uh, brief you a little bit about Satya. And I'm going to brief you a little bit about Narak. Narak is a very established, accomplished uh, on, uh, entrepreneur, a chef, chef -anor, right? Restaurant Noah. And uh, she makes some amazing, delicious food. And she's been doing uh, very well, very successful in her business. And I told her a little bit about you, and she's excited to meet you, and she can't wait to hear your vision and your plan of action. And hopefully we can come together to uh, unify, to collaborate and cooperate and help us uh, rebuild this great Khmer empire together. Fantastic. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and, uh, you know, tell a little bit about your vision and your plan of action, Satya, it's coming from you. Yeah, my, my vision, my goal is to uh, unite everyone from all walks of life, all business, all businesses and, um, just the uh, people in general to come together, um, collab, and, and do some fundraising for um, our our people, as well as generating generating um, general generational wealth through music. Um, at the moment, we're putting it together a, a, an album which consists of thirty songs, and uh, so far we we finished uh, one song. We just need to do some copywriting and. Um, promoting it, um, and we we're seeking um, to look for people to give in the opportunity to invest in the songs. So each song would cost the uh, the audio itself is five thousand, and the music video on top of that is another five to seven thousand. So in total, you're looking at about roughly twenty twenty thousand for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And the opportunity for the the investors is that they can. Um, contribute uh, um, any amount um, that is they're able to, um, but they in, in return they get the the royalty uh, for eternity. So that is something that uh, we're working on at the moment, Chris. And what are the chant is going to be very popular, like time to rise? How is this relate, and how is this? have an impact and in, in win the heart and soul of my people that could be the next big things, especially yeah, the first four songs. The first four songs is all about us um, surviving and, and living our current life, even though we went through some very, very bad um, situation during the Pol Pot era. Um, so the song will touch everyone's heart as well as lifting them up to move on and uh, basically rebuild themselves and create a, a better community for, for our children. So every song will have a meaning, will have a story behind it. Um, I did one song already, it's called Nightmare. It's a, it's a song about, um, it's about Chris, but we, 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 we took it and make it a universal so everyone can relate to. So basically it's about, um, um, living the present life with the understanding that we have survived the war and now it's our, our time to shine again, you know? And um, I think that's a, it's a great message for everyone that went through the, the war. So basically you want to dedicate this song, even though the story was kind of born out of my experience and my dream being a seven years old, walking through the jungle from Batambang to Kawedang. So, mm. but, so, but the song itself, he's, um, we want it to be related and dedicated to people a little bit older than me. People, mm. uh, kids that are, my kids that are migrating from Cambodia to Thailand and to different country at 17, 16, 17, 18, 19, up to 24 years old, you mm. know, they, you know, they can really have this nightmare for life their score for life. And we want to take this song and dedicate to them because they can't go to high school. They mm -hmm. can't go to college because they can't speak the language. 
Mm-hmm. And then they, they're too old to go to high school. So they basically stuck in that stage. So they're going to become one of the most strongest people in the world for them to survive. So we want to take this song and I, uh, Satya and I discussed this, that it's not about me, even though it rooted from me, but this song is going to be related to those people. And we're going to dedicate those people, people like maybe your uncle, your, your older sister, your parents. Yeah. yeah. So we want to, we want to dedicate this song to them. So it's going to be very powerful. And that's why it's going to be a big hit because all gold for all 30 songs, well, not all 30 songs, but majority of the song from the beginning, when, when we're talking about the sadness, the pain and suffering, it's going to bring a lot of tear, but it's also when we continue working on, we build ourselves up. Um, we're going to show the world what our capabilities are. We are very creative. We're intelligent. We're very loving, very kind. Um, so we're going to show the world who we are through the song. And then through the song, we are going to be doing short film and we are going to be doing movies. So through entertainment, through fashion, we already closed the deal with so, uh, Soda Mao. She will be a partnership with Satya doing his, uh, his um, fashion and beauty products brand. So we already closed the deal with so that she's already in it already. So we're excited about that as well. So through that resource, now we can really introduce my culture into the world and to the mainstream, but we're not going to do it small. We're going to do it globally. We're going to get all my people, my leadership around the world and come together to collaborate so that we can tell the world who we are. So, so far we've been doing a great job and that's why Satya is said, oh my God, Chris, I couldn't even eat. You have meeting after meeting for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then now there's one way to get great this cause, song done. And yeah, it's for a great cause. And I believe that with these 30 songs, you know, the royalty that the investors um, get, um, it's something they're going to be they're gonna be very proud of because it's a legacy for them and for the kids to, to reap down the road. That's amazing to hear. So, so uh, my, my company, want to break it down with the, um, the royalty structure, Chris? Yes, please. You want me to do it? Yes, please. Yeah. Well, what happened was we, we figured out it's going to take 30 songs to tell a story about us, my empire. But he said after we do promotion, marketing, advertising, and we're going to have a talk of a follow him. And video, video for, for going to follow him. We do like a small reality show about him, right? And then we're going to do a couple other stuff that promote him to go into a, a medium event. And then the medium event will lead into the 45 days uh, global tour. So we want to put a Khmer New Year for 45 days. And Satya would be the major attraction along with all his invitation with all the other Khmer artists to come tour with him in Thailand excuse me, in Cambodia, Vietnam, Australia, France, uh, USA, Texas, <laughs> right, Canada. So we're going to go everywhere where my population's at, but hopefully as we grow, we want to be able to put him in a stadium, put him into an arena that he become an international superstar. Okay? So that's our plan with this dirty song. It's going to be very powerful. So, so the breakup itself is, is very simple. We discussed and said, look, it's going to cost us about 600000 to a $750,000. So let's say half a million to a million. So we, we talk about how we are going to raise that fund. We, I told them, look, you've got a lot of investors that have a lot of money. But do you really want them? Do you want one investor to give you a million dollars and they're going to tell you what to do and they control what you're doing and you have to go through their permission? Or we can accept three investors. That means if we have three investors at 60%, that means it's going to be 20%. So the investor, would, each one would own 20%. Uh, Satya, um, Mike, and Swag would own yeah, 20%. 20%. And... ACMM Pro, which is Ankle Crown Music Movie Production, would own 20%. But 
but he doesn't want to do that. Satya decided to say, look, it's probably best if we offer Khmer family, Khmer businesses, uh, Khmer leaders, Khmer co-founder to um, become a small one so that we can spread the wealth. We don't want the rich gets rich. We want to spread among my family. We want to spread among my businesses, among my leaders. If they have, so if we, if it costs us twenty thousand, that means ten investors only two thousand dollars. So Satya agree and suggest that we should go with the ten investor, and then give them an opportunity of a lifetime to own his music forever. Remember, it's insane for any entrepreneur to give up sixty percent of their business. In this case. He gave up eighty percent of his business. That's insane. So I really appreciate Satya, you know, and tell tell her why you decided to do that. Because I believe in uh, we're we're here for a reason, right? And 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 I think my my calling is that I want to create something special, something that is amazing, um, that that lasts forever, you know, legacy wise. And uh, I, I, I had the dream to um, to be. I don't. I want to brag myself. I want to be special. I want. To, I want people to look at me and say, "I inspired people. I inspire a whole generation to, you know, share the love and uh, spread the wealth, as well as leaving a long-lasting legacy." And that's what I'm all about. And we're gonna help him to become a superstar, international superstar. Yeah, that's a great goal. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I told him was, I said, "Look, I know this this amazing, happy, successful Khmer entrepreneur. She's a chef. Her name is Narak. You got to meet her. You know, you're gonna like her." And I told you the same thing. You're gonna like Satya. You know, his song is amazing. You know, I I share my story with him, just with the nightmare that I have. And mm -hmm. and just share the story, and he, he take what I have, and he make it a thousand time better. Mm -hmm. And then he, when he gives me the products, he kind of give me tear because it's it's almost like making my dream come true, but also make everybody else dream come true. And I can't wait, especially the first uh, four song. So the first song is going to be is it nightmare, right? Yes. The second song is going to focus on Chosen One. Mm -hmm. Talk about the Chosen One. That means the co-founder. That'll be the Chosen One. Mm -hmm. Right? So you become the co-founder. You become the Chosen Ones. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and then the third song would be about vision. Right? I have a vision. Right? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. the fourth song is we are going to rebuild the great my empire. I will rebuild. So just the fourth song alone, it's so purposeful. It is so meaningful. And it's so fulfilling. And that's why it's going to be the next big things. That's why it's going to be a big hit. So if Vanda is listening to this video, he know that we're listening to him and we just follow his uh, blueprint yeah. to take it to the next level. So with this 30 song, we heard uh, Vanda's message and then we're going to continue the, the journey for him. And hopefully he come in and become the co-founder for uh, for 802 Ankle Crown as well. So when he's ready to take over the label under the ACMM Pro and then let Satya, let Van Dan, and then let uh, G the Vit next generation to take over, I'm more than happy to stay over. I mean, step over and let them take over so that we can create something even bigger. So that's my objective because my dream, my destiny is to become a warrior, to connect you, connect him, and connect all my leader to come together to do three things unification, collaboration, and cooperation. Okay? So that's, I've done my job. So when I've done all this stuff, I'm going to be tired. I'm going to be resting. You won't see me for three months. <laughs> You're probably wondering what happened to Chris, right? <laughs> you probably don't even care, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Living so that's, life. Yeah, so that's that's my goal. And, and I feel... The last three years, I with this intervention in my dream of uh, me talking to my mom, and I told a little bit of this to Satya, but that's something I want to do the last song after we have built something solid, and then I'm going to dedicate the song to my mom. Uh, it's called Mama. Um, you know, 
because I haven't seen her since I was seven years old when we we decided to uh, you know walk from Battambang to Kawidang for about five or six days, six days, six nights. So, but Satya, I don't want to distract Satya. Satya said, put that on the back end, and when we get to it, we'll, we'll focus on. But it's going to be a very meaningful. I'm going to dedicate this song to my birth mom as well as my adopted mom. So that's going to be very powerful as well. So question is, when is the CD, um, you know, published for those song? Yes, indeed, indeed. So, Satya, uh, you have any question for Satya before you share your vision, your plan of action, and what you've been up to, and you know, do you have any question for him? Do you just want to know when the song gonna be published? What is that? When is the song gonna be published? When when does the song will come out? Yeah. Um. Well, we we finished, we finished the song now, so now it's, the next step is copywriting the song so that, you know, just for um, prevention, uh, if it gets leaked out, then it's our loss. So we need to prevent that from happening. So we copyright it under my label for the time being till we have investors, and then we break it down into uh, the royalty percentage for for each investors. Um, that's that's easily done, and the songs will be on all major music platforms on no. Earth. If you name it, it's going to be there for eternity. So the royalties keep on generating and generating for eternity. Um, and then the marketing side, which is uh, Chris and Joshua is doing right now too, I believe. Yes, and that's something I did share with you that you did recommend that I should have our own promotion, marketing, advertising agency, company. Mm -hmm. We created just yeah. for you because we've been listening to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So remember you told me, Chris, why don't you help me do my promotion, marketing, advertising about my products? So I've been listening to you. So yeah. we created a company uh, under Joshua. Joshua is our vice president of director in promoting promotion, marketing, advertising. So he's in charge of that. So I got him connected with Satya and uh, find out what is, what is the possibility of revenue, the profit, and how do we generate money, you know, through his label, through his uh, royalty, you know, through his event. And then more importantly, we're going to do a yearly 45 day global tour. That's going to be 50% of the revenue coming in, but we'll do it on behalf of fundraising to help our NGO and help our uh, 5013C nonprofit organization. So that's what, and then the same thing with um, the artists. He already, he already dedicated 25% um, of his, um, of his revenue, of his profit to a nonprofit organization already. So 25%, he's gonna have his personal spending and then 50%, he said, take that money, Chris, and put into a planned money tree <laughs> investment. So he, he basically trusts me to say, look, just take the money. Just, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay him to do all the digital art for us. We'll pay him $300 for the first song to do the cover. And then mm -hmm. one of us gonna purchase that from him but we'll donate that back to him. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put that on a Makerverse 3Ds gallery and museum. But we're also gonna be creating a museum and gallery for all my artists. So at least maybe four of them would own there. So we're gonna make money from subscription from a virtual Makerverse uh, 3D, as well as we do um, touring money. So I told him that, look, out of that $300, if, if I purchase $300 from you, what is my return on investment? So he said they can have three, five times the amount, five <laughs> times. So he said, "Look, we're gonna you can you can collect up to fifteen hundred. There's no time limit, right? And then once that's done, it's over. Then, what? Thank you for your help. Now we return your investment, right? But at the same time, he said, "Look, what are we gonna do after that when we have subscription? You know, we have people coming in." and watch it on a Makerverse 3Ds gallery and museum, right? What are we gonna do? Because we're gonna charge them on a monthly basis, right? Like five bucks a month, whatever so be, right? And then what happened? We have a gallery of, you know, Bong Dara, you know, Bong Ruhu, Dings God, and many other Khmer that haven't discovered yet. We're gonna make money when they come in tour, we're gonna make money on that. So what he said was, I don't really, I don't want anything. You already pay me the 300 and I'm done. I said, no Bong. It's not going to work that way because my job is to come up generational wealth for you. 
So by you accepting generation well, that's why we create the Makerverse 3Ds gallery and museum for you so that we can collect a monthly payment from people to look at your art. So don't put it out there for free. If they want to know it, I mean, give them a snapshot here and there. And if you want to know the full version, you lock on online or you can go to a physical place and view all his, because the thing he does is going to be on like a movie poster, mm -hmm. music poster that you can put it on your wall with LED lighting. It's going to be so cool. But for that, it's about $300. Okay. So any one of us can purchase it and we donate it back to him and then we get five times the amount of return on investment. In Satya's situation, he's giving away 60% of the each each song so this is what we mean by building generational wealth and planting money tree so my goal is to help each one of us to be to have a business that build generational wealth and then we take the money we make we'll invest into each other but that business have to be plan your money uh plan your own money tree I mean it's secure and guarantee so if i give you ten thousand dollar what's my promise what's my guarantee but I won't recommend it to you if it's not secure and guaranteed. Does that make sense? So that we call that called plan money tree. So, so we don't do multi-level marketing. We don't do, um, I mean, there's nothing wrong doing multi-level marketing. There's nothing wrong to it, um, but it could lead into Paramet. It could lead into Ponzi. So, and it costs a lot of uncom uncomfortable for some people. So I didn't want to take that chance of allowing that into our organization. I mean, they can do what they want to do. We're not going to abandon them. We're not going to tell them what to do. All we're asking them to do is be respectful, keep it private, and keep it confidential. But if the two of you guys decide to take it outside and talk about it, it's okay. But if we're in the meeting, we don't talk about that kind of stuff. So we don't take size. Um, we, we don't, what, what is that thing that I say? So we don't take sides. Let me, I, did I text that to you, Narak? Mm. Did I text that snapshot to you? About the rule, regulation? Yeah, oh. yeah. Did I, did I text that to you yet? Yeah, I, I did. You did. So the bullet point is um, one race under the heaven, unification, collaboration, cooperation, the gift, happiness, enjoyment, purposeful, meaningful, fulfilling life. Seek and discover the gift to be given away to someone next to you that you see fit. And a promise to my healthy self, never be easily get disappointed, stress and distracted. Always be genuine, successful, intelligent, focus on finding solution to every problem, obstacle, challenge and distraction. Share the 802 uh, vision, mission, goals and plan of action to every single successful entrepreneur, leaders, investor all around the world. Never stop seeking and discovering the gift. Okay, rules, they said, we will work with all Khmer leaders, with all Khmer people, okay, at all costs. So we don't have enemies, right? So we're going to come together and, and rebuild the great Khmer empire together. So here's the rules and, and here's the rules and policy. No judgment. I'm not going to make judgment on you. I'm not going to make judgment on Satya, right? No division. No taken side, no EGO. I think one of the biggest disappointment, the most feel it is people have the biggest ego. No, none of that. Okay. So no expectation because expectation lead to disappointment. We don't do that. We don't ask for free stuff. So if I want something from you, Narak, I want to pay for it. Right. Mm -hmm. So no personal question. No donation, no religion, no politic, and no uh, and no business that is uh, that is not meet all rules and standard, ethics and standard. Okay, so those are the things that we prepare ourselves because I know that sometimes we get so sensitive to one another and we block each other out. So we we're not going to tolerate any of those. We're going to accept each other as the way you are. And then there's certain things that we're not allowed to ask, like your personal question, your religion belief, your who do you support? You support Donald Trump or you support Joe Biden. None of those could not discuss in our group, but 
if you do take it outside i'm okay with that just keep it private and confidential because we don't want any of our member to feel uncomfortable so that we can focus on one thing is what is to rebuild the great my empire correct mm -hmm. through many of the things that we just mentioned earlier so for that being said narak i am um, i would love to hear your update about your vision um your mission your goal your plan of action share with us as much as you can we love to hear it to see if we could uh, somehow help you uh, collaborate with you to even enhance to, to your success right now to see if we can also help you enhance to the next level as well so and then at the end of our conversation i would I'd like to ask you one question would you like to join us as a co-founder and being the vice president of fda's director and once that position is closed it's your anybody to come after you they have to go to you through you with your approval but with, with your validation with your blessing yeah that would be nice um if you put me up into the opportunity i would love to have cambodian you know community as build up as the my empire together because i got a lot of vision i got a lot of uh, talented that i can show people different what can Billy hear you? Uh, sorry can okay, you hear yeah. me now can you hear me yeah Okay, maybe I put my phone. So I, I mean, I mean, my pleasure to have all the Cambodian community to build our Cambodian empire to become stronger. Because as I am living in this country, you know, I learn a lot of people by vision learning, by real experience learning, and I want to spread out my experience to Cambodian people that are willing to help. Let me need help. I will just come talk to me straightforward. Just. Any question I would answer, right or wrong, no judging. You Thank know, you, Narak. And we will we will ask that same question again when we come to at the end, and then we're gonna mm -hmm. celebrate together. We're gonna ask you a question, yes or no, and you're gonna say yes or no or wait. And whatever the answer may be, we would understand we accept your decision. We you know, we we respect that. We will understand. But we'll save that question for last so we can celebrate together. But meanwhile, we'd like to hear about your your current situation with your with your business, what you've been up to. And you know, tell us about your vision, tell us your plan of action with your existing business right now. If oh, you don't yeah, mind. The, the plan of action is um getting bigger and bigger. Right now, um, you know, through food, I um I mean I've been successful a lot with Cambodian community. Not every Cambodian community or nationwide in U.S. that they love over Cambodian food. Before they don't know what is Cambodian food is. Right now, I'm trying to put all Cambodian food in high level, and then to show the people what a Cambodian can do when they through food, and then when they put the food in their mouth, they feel like wow, there's a lot of flavor, and then they want to know where is the uh, you know I come from. And then I always have my certificate by my wall. I cook for president. I got certificate from the Conan Blue, and I show people every day on social media. But no shame, put my light out there, you know, to show people this is real me, no fake, you know. And then um, right now my situation is like I try to put Cambodian food in international level. So we are working for the USDA approval of a Cambodian sausage quackle, and we also do the beef chips and the Cambodian uh, hot dipping sauce. So we're working on the label, we're working on manufacture and co-packing. And right now I'm waiting for the answer from the USDA about our formula with our sausage. Because over Cambodian sausage is very unique than the other. In American way, they only do fresh sausage, smoked sausage, but we are cure sausage. And that's a very risky business. But I put my hand into it because I want Cambodian sausage in this country and to pop than the other sausage because it's a flavorful, it's aging sausage and authentic. And then, um, you know, um, you're talking about quaco, not only quaco, but the other. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I only know quaco. <laughs> <laughs> So that yes. cargo gonna be in uh, in international market soon. We will be working into uh, put into Cambodian um, community and also the Cambodian market in United States and also the uh, uh, the, the trading company in US. 
So it it gonna be have a lot of distributor around US, not Vietnam store, Korean store, Chinese store, and stuff like that, and also Costco. Wonderful. Working, That's yeah. I working direct with Mong. Um, you know uh, what is name uh, in San Francisco and with Sai Chun and then the company manufacturer that we are working with right now in Sacramento, California. Yeah, so they're gonna do, manufacture your yeah, products, right? Yeah, and we do the first testing already. Everything's good, but we're like waiting for approval for formula only. Yeah, uh, matter of fact, uh, I spoke to Satya. Already met Sapan. And Sapan and I already spoke that about, and he also gave me uh, an update of your success. And I was uh, joyful and I was happy and excited just to hear from you as well. You know, that's why I continue to say hello to you all the time. I know you're busy, but I try to poke you on your message. <laughs> just to let you know, I'm always, you're always on my mind and, you know, I want to see you successful. I want you to see, you know, thrive. And we're gonna have a song called Rise and Conquer Together uh, that we'll be putting together for um, by Satya. Uh, matter of fact, this is a song he already have in his mind already. So I say, great, you know, you can collaborate with that or include it in the package, whatever you wanna do. <laughs> yeah, for, That's up to him. For, for Satya also, whenever you come to Houston for your tour, I have connection with Ali Theater that they are, um, allowed the uh, Cambodian rock band perform the other day. They have a really good management and I have connect with the, the lady who uh, Wait, run Houston? the theater. Houston, yes, yes. They got the they got the banquet hall that, that I can help you to bring all Cambodian authentic cooking for the Cambodian people to come to the show to enjoy Cambodian food before they watch the show and stuff like that. So there you go. I, yeah, and I can promote you like advertising, do the fly for you to all Cambodian community around you mm. to get to know that a hey, such a in town guy, you know, come to check him out, buy the ticket and stuff like that. And we have another Cambodian community in Long Bay, California. If you're willing to do that, I can connect them with you too because there are two around USA right now with Cambodian rock band. They are rock the world right now. You're and talking about the dingo? No, Cambodian rock band. Oh, this is a different one, right? That's this the one. name of the band? Cambodian rock band? Yeah, Cambodian rock band. Check them out and then follow the stuff, what they're doing. Oh, yeah. cool. cool. That, Good to know. Yeah, because not only, Cambodian, not only Cambodian people that go there to watch the show, but international people as well. And believe me, the ticket always sold out. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we so definitely need your help. That, yeah. Yeah, in in that way, uh, it won't want me to be the leader of the FDA for Cambodian community in US. Feel free to contact me whatever, whatever you need. Ask me questions I'm willing to have because I have all the answer right here. But remember, you are part of the co-founder, just like myself, just like Satya. We all co-founder. We are the chosen one. Mm hmm. That's huge. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to accept 100 and then the rest, they just become member. And we also going to start charging membership to be part of our 802. Okay. That would be nice. And we're going to have our own 802 anchor crown television show. And I'm talking to Rex me. I'm talking to Sapan right now. I said, I think you got in then Cameron to let them really focus on, on the television side, mm -hmm. you know, they do the podcast as well as television because I like them to invite Satya as a major attraction, as a celebrity to come in to do on their show. Um, and then his friends and, and, and connection to bring them in and do all this live te television. So it, we're going to create our own Cambodian Hollywood. Be nice. Yeah. And then we have Satya going to be doing the fashion along with Soda Mao, you know, and we, got, we already have a runway uh, concept going on that we want to work on that I kind of plant some seed with uh, with uh, Soda right now. And then Soda is supposed to call Satya and kind of talk that. I plant a little seed here and there just to get them started. But again, right now, our focus is to get those uh, first song done, the, then the first four song, and then we're going to do um, all, what is our, what is our plan on the 45-day tour? What, what are our expectations? And if 
you know, if, if something and dependability on what, Satya? Um, what you this one? Depending on, um, what you call it, you don't want, what's the name I'm looking for? Not sponsorships, uh, connection with the leadership and event coordinator. Yeah, it does well. And also, um, To, to make it happen, we, we need a lot of uh, a lot of leaders coming together to support it. Otherwise, it's going to be a uh, struggle. <laughs> yeah, we like I said, we have no enemy. We all here to work together. Matt, we have yeah, to change our mentality. That is why you need to connect to a lot of Cambodian community. And I, I know mm. a lot of Cambodian community through food business. Every time I post, I tag a lot of a Cambodian community in US, like they have a member like 7,000, 10,000, 6,000, like that. Yeah. That Give way, some contact to Chris. Chris can do his own magic with them. <laughs> that <laughs> well, that's my need, calling. That is my they calling. You know, you, all you need is only one cell phone to connect to all those people and two thumb. Yeah. You press them. Yeah. That, them, that okay? is my calling. That is my destiny. Yeah. So I do yeah. my job and, and I get, I will explain the vision and the plan to them and then i get them connected and allow the energy and their vibe to collide and forge into a powerful and unstoppable force just like when i'm getting you connect with satya you already suggested idea of what you could do yeah just, only thing is you have to connect to every group the cambodian network in social media you connect yourself to everybody in every state and you can merge into you could do the general chart with all those people, what you're doing, and all those people can get to know you. Yes. I will yes. send that link to your web, to uh, Christopher or your Facebook page, whatever. Then you can learn from that. Because yes. to to me, me, social media is the number one um, game chain for me since I started a business. Without social media, I cannot be successful at this point. Yes, and I could tell the your persona your excitement and, and your your lifestyle is completely yeah very positive and i love that about you you know i always see this positive energy about you thank you mom you have to do it to get to get to be success you cannot hide in one spot and ex expect people to get to know you open yourself to those people like hey who i am this is what i want to do will you support me will you give me ideas do this and that you have to uh, accept all the criticism from the people, but you pick one criticism that the most people like, not the bad, not the hater one. You know, you yes. have a good and bad people judge you, but all those people who judge you in the wrong way, kick the out all negative comment, keep all the positive comment, but not mad at them because it's a social media. People have a uh, open talk. People can can see you like the like, but only one thing you got to do: represent yourself and be you and confidence. That's all you keep show do. yourself winning and winning. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. So, have a win. Have a win attitude. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, and I believe a lot of Cambodian people they know who you are already through music. So whatever you're gonna be have forty five day tour in around the world are going to be amazing people are going to support you See? And I also wow do the fundraiser for you for my my fan that hey you know i'm support such to the music anybody want to donate money and when they buy the food and stuff put five dollar ten dollar additional so you can keep the yeah. money in the box for you so that money just a little bit resource for you to move on to your next level you know I want to yeah. ask you a question, Narak. Yeah. So since the is going to be this international superstar stardom to the next level, I was thinking out loud, and I shared this with him a little bit already, but I didn't share too much yet, but I want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. I pitched to him. I said, look, why don't you do a reality show? Plus, you are going to surprise grant wishes to 100 women. <laughs> or men, and they become your super fan. Yeah, you all need super fans, Satya. The super fan who will support you, Pukap Mok, okay? <laughs> no, so, yeah. do to support you, Pukap Mok. <laughs> so, so what I was thinking was, if they have a, a wish, and then 
Satya would surprise them at their home or at their offices and somewhere. It's like, and then we, and then we have the reality show follow him. Yeah. And like a wake surprise. And then if, but they have to go, but we're going to have our own uh, Satya super fans director. So he or she would filter that, making sure it's safe for him, make sure that they all that person is is elegant, is reputable, admirable. And then and if their wish is to meet Satya, we want to grant one hundred wishes. That's amazing. So, and then we can do a reality show follow up with that. And then we can also do the most value uh, most available bachelor for him too. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 that one's make- gonna be a hit, right? That was gonna be, gonna be so we're gonna uh, keep busy, right? Chris, I don't, don't want to be the one choosing all these beautiful girls, man. Come on. <laughs> no, it's, okay. <laughs> okay. it's a joke. So, uh, another thing is, uh, Sasha, what is your favorite dish? Maybe you can create that favorite dish and sell to those community. Hey, come to buy Sasha food. You know, yeah. we bought for ten dollar, guys. Why not? You know, mm. come buy the food and take the picture, selfie with Sasha. You know, I will help you to promote yeah. that if you want to. Everywhere yeah. you go, yeah. everywhere you go, you put such chat this, come to buy the food, take a selfie picture, so your memory for life, you know. That's <laughs> right. Like so, that. to your favorite dish, right? It's more fun. Yeah. It's more to your special. <laughs> and <laughs> you, in, you, in, you, you are in Houston, you can come to prep out my kitchen. 200 people, 300 people, we just drop on like that. Hey, don't, wow. because he might show Definitely. up next week. Definitely. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. Because, I'm uh, so. I have to go now. Because at, uh, <laughs> at Cambodian rock band at Ali Theater, I make um, 200 boxes of food, four or five different items to bring to them for for for, for donation. But theater pay me money, but the money it's go to Cambodian rock band. So we we are create authentic food for Cambodian people. At that time, we have a lot of you know uh, people who admire our Cambodian uh, food. And they follow us. All those people follow us, like a lot of fans, you know. And you can since, do since that. We, since we talk about fundraising, mm-hmm. so Taya, why don't you tell your relationship with Bong Pi Mian and uh, lovely, uh, lovely Heart NGO? Um, so lovely, a yeah, Lovely Heart is run by Michaela, who I met uh, a couple of years back. During uh, what she organized a, a meeting with me and uh, Tiny Tunes, which is a organization for for kids uh, that want to take part in learning break dancing and arts and all of that. So I I, I was able to meet her and, and then um, just recent days I went to Simrip and saw her organization organizations getting uh, um, flourished. Um, but uh, they, 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 yeah, we still need some help, but we're gonna help her through our um, fundraising. Mm. And how many? And how many of those Michaela Lovely Heart we're planning to grow to every single problem, every village that we can. Uh, and also, problem. yeah, and also yeah. Cam is also interested in uh, doing a Khmer dessert and Khmer drink cafe mm. to help them be self-sustainable. So that's something yeah. you can also help them as well, Narak. Yeah, uh, it would be nice, Wong. I know how to make a lot of things, the drink, Cambodian drink. Mm-hmm. Cambodian yeah, dessert. Uh, it's We want to mm-hmm. open a Khmer Cafe with internet connection and stuff like that. When people comes in, they can enjoy mm-hmm. Khmer dessert, Khmer drink, Khmer bubble tea, so whatever it is. And Kim told me that it costs about $12,000. Mm-hmm. And I asked her, what's the profit margin? She said, probably around seven hundred dollars a month mm-hmm. which is not enough to offer to investor so i said wait a minute wait a minute let's do this let me ask you a question if they open 10 cafe how much will it cost how much money you need One hundred twenty thousand. so i said if you make seven hundred dollars a month times you know times 10 location that's seven thousand dollars times 12 that's eighty four thousand dollars so you can still offer invest an opportunity to come invest into this franchise. Because in 15, 16, 17 uh, months, they break even. So you still can go out there and, and, and open multiple locations. The, the key is grow and expand. And that's how you build generational wealth. So Kim didn't think about that until I 
did that proposal to her. Now she's reconsidering that, you know, we might be offering an opportunity to invest to come up with $120,000. And then within the first two years, we asked them not to accept the money, but we'll continue to give them a continuous 25% profit until they, until they uh, get the $120,000 back or until they make um, maybe double amount and then it will go down to 10% or whatever it may be for life. So I, I proposed that to her, Kim kind of liked that idea, but she the type of business person that like to think about it and discuss it and a little bit more dive deep into it. But just that alone, she did not think that it's possible because they said, why would investor and want an investor company only make $700? That, that is very low amount to make money. Yes, but she said that's that's what's going on she just want to be transparent with me and she doesn't want to blow up the balloon and then we can't reach it right and then we'll be in trouble with the investor right yeah so mm -hmm. she said look just take a the worst case scenario seven hundred dollars but you can make up to two thousand she said um, you know I'm... yeah but you know we can make more than that it's a matter of operation it's a matter of yeah for promotion mark for yeah that's nothing we We're talking about money. pure profit after minus everything. We're not talking uh, about revenue. We're talking you, about gross. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, just remember before you invest the money to, uh, you know, the vendor and stuff. Make sure they got their own potential. What they want to do. If some people they just saw people doing stuff. Oh, I want to do it too. We we'll see the real potential. What you want to do? Give me the menu. Give me the the, you know, call um, the the plant. Well, that's why you are FDA director. Mm -hmm. I will check it out. What did you put on yeah. the menu? What are you going to sell? Yep. And, you know, how about the food cart? Do me the food cart and how much money you're going to make? Because yeah. now she's part of 802 becoming yeah. the generation of wealth and they have to go through you. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if we open a, if we open a, a, a restaurant that represents hot pot or a pub in between those with those big, you know, Kamai Katio, you know, right? Mm -hmm. And then we can also will be open up a restaurant that's called Anchor Crown Palace that only focus mm -hmm. on surf and turf. Mm -hmm. And that's another, you know, that's something that Satya can represent and we can have his name added to it as well. We can call it Satya 802 uh, AC, um, you know, hot pot. You have to cook it yourself. And then we have surf and turf that you also you have to cook it yourself. Because once you order it, that's it. There's no food waste. <laughs> no food waste at all. No buffet, nothing. Because buffet is just a waste. But I like the fact with the hot pot. And I like the fact with uh, having surf and turf, but you let them cook it themselves. Like a big hot rock, a big grill that they can actually turn up the heat up and, and really cook instantly. So those are the things that we have. And we're also planning to do the, and then that have to come through you. Yeah, to check out uh, yeah. what is the sauce to put in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A lot of time it's going to be grueling. A lot of, a lot of yeah. my ingredient, grueling this, grueling that, you know. Yeah. I, I love the some I love all type of soup that we have, like some lo maju, some lo this, some lo that. I love that. You know, like the Korean, you know, they have all different kimchi stuff or like the stuff that they like kimchi, like, you know, what you call that? pickle stuff right okay. and they give you a small chunk of here and there so i was thinking maybe we can do that with our soup because our soup is so amazing so taste tasteful but maybe we can just give them a small small cup for every one single one of them for every meal and but they can order more if they wish but in a bigger pot in a not pot a bigger bowl so i, I was thinking about that as well but that's something that i got to discuss with you once you become our fda's director I mean, I would so then I can that. openly share with you. I mean, create a menu is just a fun thing to do as a chef. Mm -hmm. But it, it depends on after you create the menu and item, who going to like your food. You have to get to know those two. Do the food testing, do the food uh, mock service to the people who want to come take your food and, and ask them, write down a, a, a vote and how many people like the dish that we're going to put it on. That's Exactly. Idea. Not just open it, do the mock service and do the food testing and food car stuff to, uh, to get to, uh, you know, to the point that you like. 
and then you put all those things on the menu. Yeah, and that's part of the promotion as well. Yeah. Getting your, getting your business known, yeah, introducing you can, your business to I people. Mean, yeah. You can create a thousand, a thousand item on the menu. It depends on what kind of item that people like. That's why, to me, before I put everything on the menu, I have to create my own recipe. I don't copy from people. Create your own recipe, put out there for people to taste. When they taste, oh, wow, this is taste different from the other. That's why you make you success, right? Right. When right. you make the beef yucky, such I don't have an eat the beef yucky I make yet. When my sister yeah. and my son go to Cambodia, should be your order I send to you, so you can try. It just pop in your mouth. It's not a yucky that you used to eat, but this is a crispy yucky like potato chip yucky. So that yeah. way, I that way. I try your other beef jerky. Like mm -hmm. when I ordered from you, but I haven't tried your chip yet. You have to try. Yeah, I definitely will order some from you as well. Yeah, that's why um, talking about food wise, you have to think about those uh, item that what item you have to put on the menu before you uh, publish it. Okay. I yeah, have, absolutely. I will have. Well, you you're gonna have you're gonna have a whole team and other business mm -hmm. partner will be putting all that stuff together, you're being a director, just basically you're approving it, you're validating it. That's all you're doing. That'd be fine. You don't, you don't have to do the behind the scene work, but yeah. you can, but you're in charge of, if they don't do it right, you got to tell them, here's a step. You got to follow this step and let them execute it. So you come up with a plan of action. Their job is to implement it, execute it. That'd be fine. Yeah. So, so that being said, um, after we heard each other's vision, and plan of action, I'm going to ask you the question, would you be interested in joining our ultimate vision to rebuild the Great Khmer Empire under the 802 Anchor Crown Kabami Yubam? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes? Yeah, I would love to have you, Bong. Would you uh, also represent our vice president of FDA's director when it comes to any food, drink, or alcohol? Any restaurant that we open up, you'll be in charge of it. Would you be? Would you take um, that position? So uh, that position, uh, are you gonna fly me out? Um, if necessary, yes. But majority of them, you'll be doing video production, and then you will be doing a live uh, meeting like this, and then if necessary, we'll fly you down to the restaurant. That'd be fine. I'll be happy. I won't. Yes. Well, we'll make the best decision together. Yeah. collaboration decision yes collective mm -hmm. decision together yes and so is that a yes yes it's fine yeah <laughs> all right thank you so much thank you yeah, so yes yeah. well no thank you i mean that's just like i said our job is to you know to go out there and find the chosen one select the chosen one and you know congratulations you are part of our chosen one and i'm excited to have you on board and the next step is to um present the package to you with the music business that satya is doing that's our first uh that is our priority is to get satya uh, into action asap so once he finished the song oh he already finished the song we're waiting for copyright but we're waiting for bong rahu to do the the cover cover once that's yeah. done, Satya is going to copyright it, and that's when we're going to share to all of our co-founder and the my leaders, and then our investor, along with our investment package, break down with the revenue, profit, and return on investment, and also all the information is required of our company. And then Satya will also do a personal testimony of what he's doing with his vision and goal and plan of action, his own shooting with his crew. Um, and then he also going to get interviewed by myself with the, the TMMP podcast. He's going to get interviewed by Cameron in Australia with his television. And Sapon will also be unofficial, will be uh, because Sapon, he's, I got an idea he wanted to do it, but he's just afraid with Jay Chan's situation or whatever it is. But I told him that's a bunch of BS. Yeah, a bunch <laughs> of BS. That's what I told him, yeah. Right. You don't have to say in the public. Okay. I, I no, no, no. We 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 always talk about it already. Satya okay. talked to him, and Sapan talked to him about it. The they thing, they work the, it out already. The thing is, you what 
you do what you want to do, not afraid of people next to you judging. I've been told you already. Be yourself, Satya. You, you, you are the star, you shine. You're like a diamond. And no matter what people put you in the dirt, you still shine. That would represent yourself, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So remember that. Yep. Yeah. Your smile is about everything. Just smile and shine. <laughs> so I will continue to reach to Sapan to also do a uh, live interview with him on the uh-huh. podcast. And if we can bring, maybe also do television interview with him. So those information will be used to present it to our co-founder to see if they wanted to, um, if, if, the, if the investment is right for them, then we ask them to, to invest into the, the music. If not, it's okay too. Okay, it's not. So, so another thing is when the CD ready, can we sell the CD in public or no? no the music Absolutely, CD. anybody can sell it, yes. Mm-hmm. I can help you to sell it at my store. I also can help you to sell at a community temple and stuff because yep. uh, every year I also uh, join to the temple with a thousand, a hundred, a hundred people and stuff. So people can come to the station and just uh, let them buy. They... Let them yeah, no, it's a great um, initiation. Uh, I was thinking with the with the album, mm-hmm. we it's gonna be a nice packaging. That's that's how I'm imagining nice packaging with lots of artwork of my culture and what we went through. Um, anything that represents whatever in the song, um, in the lyrics. So I think you know, I, I like a deluxe package. You know, very nice mm-hmm. presented. Um, that's good. That's gonna stay on their wall or then their CD rack for forever. Yeah. And with a poster as well. Like item. a poster? Yeah. Collectible items, yeah. Even Collectible with the poster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Bondara will be painting it as well for every song. So we're gonna use that art as a collectible for a gallery yeah, and yeah. museum. I will have you to tweet all my super fans so they can share from your us. So all the awesome. money is gonna go to your the little jaw. <laughs> so there you go, Satya. I'm glad you get a chance to meet our superstar chef, and you know, and I'm glad to connect the two together. And so hopefully we can get all the resource together to present it to her, and maybe she would be interested in uh, investing in one of your songs. It is an opportunity of a lifetime for her as well, you know, to be able to contact you directly and be an owner of your music. I think it's an honorable thing to do. Even for myself, and for her, or for anybody else that uh, that believe in the vision, so I will yeah. continue to present all the co-founder to you as often as I can. Um, but as we see, you know, I already spoke to Peter. I think Peter's already on the right track with me already. <laughs> yeah, then I, another another exciting news that um, after the product already out of manufacture, we're gonna launch our own product at Times Square, New York next year if everything happens. Woo. So I, I so I wish you see they're gonna be ready for next year. I can put on the side in this company. Yeah, amazing. Well, why don't you help me connect it to all the right leaders so that we can instead of our plan of action is to do 2025, but if I'm able to successfully able to put a financial statement together and connect all the Khmer leaders together, and get all the government involved, get the corporation involved to do advertisement with us. If we can accelerate that with connection with all the co uh, with all the co-founder with all the leaders and all the investors real quick, we want mm-hmm. to do it in two thousand and twenty-four. So on that way, I have to connect you to one of my business advisor. He's a big guy, so so far I know him too. So he's the one who lead me to different direction that I'm doing right now. Different direction where I should go to the right path, you know. So um. Yeah, why not? I will talk to him. If he allow me to do that, then I will connect you to him. And then you know, right now, right now every weekend I'm always traveling around the United States to meet our Cambodian community. Like every state, I have to point out where I wanna go. Every weekend I'm on the airplane. Like you text me the other day. You know, yeah, you and you can always share Satya's number. I you can know, also share know. my number. Tell them that hey, you, you know, you gotta talk to Chris about this. This this amazing project that we're doing, mm-hmm. this this awesome um, uh, plan of action that we'll put together, and you can you you have my number, you have Satya's number, and yeah. Satya, if you want to give her permission, that's up to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So you can certainly, 
you know, like Satya, he basically want me to connect with his friend in Canada. He want me to connect with a friend with Australia. I just talked to him before our meeting. And uh, we didn't finish our conversation, but we will continue our conversation tomorrow. And hopefully he also become our co-founder. And perhaps maybe I want to talk to him a little bit about short film and movie. Mm -hmm. So that's something I have to understand his expertise before I ask him to offer him a vice president of, you know, short film or mm -hmm. movie production director, something like that. Mm -hmm. But we don't do the movie. We collaborate with other just like we like to get Prax involved, we like to get um, uh, Kylie so involved. So everybody that we know, even Angela Jolie involved with Maddox or whoever we can, all doors always open to all 17 million combined. That was awesome. Yeah, so. So there you go. Thank you so much, uh, Satya. Uh, thank you. Again. And thank you so much, Chef. And you're so much good, Jeff. Barley bread, Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a nap now. <laughs> keep, no, you keep pushing it back and back and back. It was like, okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Push it back. <laughs> Let me go enjoy my dinner. <laughs> and I have to tell us, you know, it's one o'clock my time or twelve thirty my time, you know, in the morning. It's, it's Friday. I know. All right. Okay, Bo, I'm gonna I'm gonna be off now, okay? Okay, Lehai. Lehai Bong, but later.